Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing it says it's flex box. Use the flex ring properties to string items. Now let's see so far all the properties in the challenges apply to the flex container, the parent of the flex items. However, there are several useful properties for the flex items. Now let's read the first is the flex string property when it's used it allows an item to shrink if the flux container is too small items shrink when the width of the parent container is smaller than the combined width of all the flux items within it the flex shrink property takes numbers as a value as value step higher the number the more it will shrink compared to the other items in the container. For example, if one item has a flex shrink value of 1 and the other has a flex shrink value of 3, the one with the value of 3 will shrink 3 times as such much as the other. Add the CSS property flex shrink to both Wait, not gonna. So we're gonna go to box 1. Then we're gonna put there is flex shrink minus shrink. Then we're gonna put that. So now we're gonna put. So flex shrink. So we're gonna set the box one a value of one, and then the the hashtag box two we will we will give it up. So now we're gonna put the flex shrink again, flex shrink again. Then put that, and then we're gonna put a value of two semicolon. Don't forget it. So now look, the blue one is more big than the red one. So now let's run the test. Their powers combined. Okay guys, see you in my next video. Bye!